Hulo. Okay, so here for hot tea. I think I said that channel right. Here for hot. Here for hot tea. Did somewhat of an interview with Carson Blue last night, and I missed it. I wish I would have caught it live. It wasn't just super super interesting, but a couple of things were said that I want to speak on, and. Carson girl, I'm still confused about you. I, I would still have my guard up with you if I were anybody on that case. And I'm going to explain why. Um, Carson makes it her business to say she does not watch the show. And she wasn't watching the show. And I find that hard to believe because let's say me, for instance, right? Like, let's see, let me use myself for example. I sell hair. I sell plus size women clothing. I do hair. Um, if I were to be moving to a new area, a new town, as a businesswoman, an entrepreneur, I am going to see if I can find the hottest spots, the hottest people, um, the, the 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 lit areas, the lit people, the popular people. Yes, I would. And I would do that just so I could know like an area or something where I can market myself, right? And if this town had a television show attached to it, a TV show that was um, national, I would definitely look into the characters on the show, the stars of the show, especially the women. I would want to... Um, not necessarily attach myself to them, but to their team, to their family, to their following. Like it's an opportunity there and I would grab it. So it would be hard for me to believe that Carson moved to this area where there's a television show, a popular show, and you have the cast members there. Huntsville is not a big place and you don't do your research <laughs> On the cast, like you don't watch the show, you don't you try to prepare yourself for what could come up. That's the thing that I'm having a problem with because I don't see her. She says she's a businesswoman, and as a businesswoman, I don't see you not uh, uh, putting yourself in the position to know what's going on in this area you're moving to where you're doing business. And if she were to just say that, just be honest, just be straightforward. The thing that I've noticed about YouTube and social media period these days, people want you to take accountability. People want you to own up to whatever it is and just stand in your shit. Just stand in your just stand in your stuff. Own it. And and and, and, and be who you are. And I don't see Carson doing that. And that is a problem for me. Now, that makes more sense that she would have done her research and that she would have saw or seeing that Arion is not good with the people on this case, she has to distance herself, distance herself from Arion. <laughs> That's what I would have done. <laughs> if it was strictly about business, that's what I would have done. However, if she just like Arion as a person and they vibe, then yeah, she would have continued a friendship with her. Um, or if that question alone, not Arion's actions, you know, the, the type of disrespectful person that she is, that wasn't enough to stop you from being her friend. But the question that she asked you was, huh, I don't think so. To me, and, and I can be wrong, but this is just how I see it. I just see it as she did her research. She watched that show. She followed those people. She saw the crowd. She tried to read the room and she noticed that Arion wasn't going to be a good match for her. And then she asked her that disgusting question. And that probably put the icing on the cake for her. Now, when she goes back to say about why she told Melody and why she told Tisha, goes back to my first point and my first perspective, my initial uh, taking of Carson. She was trying to cover her own. <laughs> she was trying to cover herself. Um, initially, I could have sworn she said she told Tisha about that tape when she first did Tisha's hair. Like she just went ahead and put everything out there. She let her know she knew Ariane and she told her about the tape. 
But then she turned around and said when the fake page come in on Tisha's page, she told her that day. So had that page not said anything, you wouldn't have told Tisha and you wouldn't have told Melody. But the thing about it is, Carson, <laughs> you initially said that you told Tisha because you wanted to put everything out there and you wanted to be honest with her and you didn't want anything to come up. Not that you you were forced to do it. That's the difference is, and it's maybe small to her, but it's the truth. Like stop trying to minimize what happened. Stop trying to make it small and make it, it's not that big of a deal. Well, it kind of is. Cause to me, it just says you're not trustworthy. You were interested in doing hair as you should have been. You were trying to attach yourself to the popping popular people of that town as you should have been. You wanted your work to be on TV and you did what you had to do to get it there. You, you should have. It's just the way you went about things after that that make you questionable. These people message Tisha. <laughs> and Oh, no, no. Don't even message her. They come in on her page and you feel like they're going to out you. So then you tell Tisha and then you tell Melody. But you already knew this information. And if you were going to keep it to yourself, you should have just kept it to yourself. But then you come out and say, well, I want to teach you to know because I wanted to be honest with her. But that's not the case. You didn't just want to be honest with her. You just didn't want nobody else to expose you. Okay. And that's all that she really had to say. But she don't want to say that. She can't say that. You know, you keep trying to beat around the bush and you're talking in circles and you're trying to make everything just seem so small and it's not really small. And that's what making you, that's what make you seem so untrustworthy. Okay. And the last thing, the last thing that I want to speak on is the portion about tea talk with your girl. I think that's the right one. I think that section was just... It was unfair and it was awful. And I feel like that because I'm the type of person you got to give respect to get respect and respect, but respect is due to anybody any and everybody. Right. And if you're going to talk about me, <laughs> you should be able to talk to me or you should be able to sit and listen, like allow me to defend myself. Like if T talk wasn't going to be allowed to join the panel. The conversation about her should have ceased. It should have stopped. It was unfair and it just wasn't right. The same goes like when Tasha K in interviewed Coleslaw, Ariane. And Ariane got so scared and nervous when she thought Tasha K was going to call Melody. But had she called Melody, Ariane should have been woman enough to stand in what she was saying about Melody. But she wasn't going to do that. Like everybody was upset. Like, oh, so you can't talk to Mel? She was scared to talk to Mel. No, nah, that ain't right. Like, if, you, if you're not going to allow me to defend myself, then don't speak on me. Like, it don't allow me to be spoken on. Whew. Otherwise, it was a pretty decent interview. Um, I, I still feel the same way I felt about Carson. I mean, I could understand a little better what she meant when she said that things aren't what they seem because we all know that we all should know that things aren't what they seem on tv in real life but yeah if if you gonna talk about me you should be able to talk to me <laughs> and if you can't speak to me you don't need to be speaking on me period but we're gonna keep our eyes and ears open but hopefully this situation here is done hopefully carson decides to move a little better or begin to explain herself a little better her communication maybe she may need to like slow her talking down and think a little bit before she speak because it's giving it's sending out the wrong signals because i for one and one of the people who interpreted what she said is Mel was being fake all right y'all bye bye